Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in tens. In this tutorial, we will learn how to skip count in tens with numbers up to 200. So let's have a look at our first example. This time we've got the number 120. And the question is, what number comes after 120 if we are counting in tens. Well, the first thing we do is find the tens. That's this one here. And the two, you simply add one to the two and that becomes three. So therefore, the answer is 130. The three comes over here. So the only digit which has changed is the 10. The units never changes. The hundreds can change. In this scenario it didn't, but it can change. In fact, why don't we look at an example where both the tens and the hundreds will change. This time we've got number 190. The same question, what number comes after 190 if we are counting in tens. First, find the tens. That's this over here. And simply, we are counting in tens, so this goes up by one. It goes up by ten. But you can put a zero here, but that number, the units, is never going to change. Because we're increasing it by ten, we add one to the nine. What does that become? Well, 9 plus 1 is 10, and we can carry 1 here. Now, we have to add the hundreds. We've got 1 here, and we've got 1 here, so that becomes 2. So, therefore, the answer is 2, 0, and 0. Don't forget, the units doesn't change. So, if you look at this 20 here, this 20 here has come up here. And as for the zero, well, the zero doesn't change. And have a look at the first one. We had 120 going to 130. Have a look at the zero. The zero, again, didn't change. Now let's have a look at one more example. This time we've got number 110. And then we've got blank, 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 150. Now this looks like a number pattern. We'll come on to those tutorials later. We are simply counting in tens. So we've got 110. First, find the 10. Add 1 to it. What does that become? That becomes 2. So the next number is... 120. The only thing has changed is the 10. It's gone from 1 to 2. So we've got number 120. I'll just change colors for this. What do we do now? We find the 10. That's a 2. Add 1 to it. That becomes 3. So the next 10 is 130. Let's keep going. From 130, the 10 is the 3. Add 1 to it, that becomes 4. So the next number is 140. And have a look at the pattern here. We've got 110. I'll just write this down in red. If we start at the number 110, for example, the next 10 is 120, 130, 140, 150. Do you notice the pattern? The only digit which changes is the 10. The hundreds can change once we get to, once it becomes a 9, as in this example over here. But otherwise, the hundred doesn't even change. And that is how we count in tens with numbers up to 200.